So welcome to this video, it's Henry here. So in this video, I'm gonna go through how to set up split testing in active campaign automations the advanced way. If you haven't seen the basic way, there is a basic way to do this as well. So don't worry if all this gets a bit technical in the next five minutes, there is a basic way and that is linked. If you're in the um, blog post itself, you can just go up to the top of the blog post and it's all laid out there. You can even just copy the automation straight out. I've given you a free public automation. As I've said um, in the blog post, you can come and read the full instructions. It's all every single instruction here to do every single step of anything. You can come and just steal my script, basically. Come and have my script. Um, the full PHP script is here. Just modify it to your needs, upload it to your server, um, do what you need to do. However, I know, you know, we're in the world that WordPress is the universal way that most marketers run their life. So uh, I've created a nice, easy upload, install, no writing scripts, none of that stuff. Just upload, install on WordPress and uh, you have a nice, easy WordPress plugin to use. And yeah, that that does all this stuff for you. And yeah, also in the blog post, there's all sorts of other good stuff on the other things you need to set up as well. So come over, if you're not on the blog post, come over to the blog post and come and get all those. I've just given you everything for free. Um, you can download the WordPress plugin from the blog post itself. And yeah, simple as that. So what you need to do, um, download the plugin, upload it like a normal, straight out the box WordPress plugin. Couple of things though, you definitely don't want to do this on your main site. Basically, because every plugin that you add just slows down your site straight out. I market things, the last thing I want is a slow site. This plugin by itself doesn't make it slow, but as I said in my recent post on how to speed up WordPress, and I'll put a link to that in the article or on YouTube as well. Like, first thing you do, just get rid of every plugin that doesn't actually add to the front end of the site. Plus, um, especially if you're writing quite a few scripts like I do, you kind of don't want, like on your main site, you might end up with four or five plugins that have no relevance to the actual running of your website but they're getting loaded or a portion of them are getting loaded every time you load. And in general, it's just a disaster. So my advice is either create a sub domain and install WordPress on there or go and get yourself like a completely random .com that means nothing at all. Like Henry's XYZ ZZZZ.com. That's cool. You just need a completely separate thing that's nowhere near and got nothing to do with your actual main site. And essentially, and I openly say, I, I'm i not saying that this plugin is perfectly coded. Like, I've coded it, I've used it on client sites, I've done all that stuff. But at the same time, it's not as if I'm publicly releasing some paid super duper plugin this is just to help you guys that don't do the whole coding stuff. And it's really cool for that. Um, there are no security issues I know of. But on the other hand, I'm not there testing it on a thousand websites straight up. I've got it on a couple of client sites that I work with. And um, I also have it on mine at the moment just to show you how it all works. So yeah, come download the plugin from the blog post. Upload it. Just standard upload add new upload the zip then you want to make sure you activate it and as soon as it's activated you can basically come down you can see the set you can either click the settings thing here or you can just come over to settings and click the AC automation split testing setup. What you're faced on on here is the only bits of information you need are the API URL. I'll show you where to get that. The API key, your active campaign API key that is. And then whatever kind of tags you want to 
you want to split your contacts by so split a tag and split b for me i use hrm hyphen split a or hyphen split hyphen a and then hrm hyphen split blah 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 so you get all that stuff basically to get your api url you want to come over to active campaign you want to come over to the settings at uh settings up here then you want to come down to developer and at the top here you can see there's api access you want to copy this top bit in the url stick it in this bit here then you want to copy your api key stick it in this bit here do your tags hit save and you will see up at the top here i've given you what your uh, webhook url is so you can just come over copy that and then we can dive back over into active campaign so as it says next thing to do is we need to set up the automation in active campaign so whenever someone signs up to any list it runs them through this automation and you can tag them either a split a or a split b so let's pop over to active campaigns automations and we can do this as i said in the blog post this like completely public you can just come and copy my automation that works out of the box but i'll show you what to do so over in active campaign now it's all loaded up you basically need to do a campaign that looks like this when a contact subscribes to any list does the contact so do an if slash else statement does the contact have your split tags whatever you put in your split tags so in my case hrm hyphen split hyphen a or hrm hyphen split hyphen b so does it have either of those do, does that contact have any of those um, tags applied to them if they do so yes we'll end the automation we don't want to add another tag to them if they don't that they go down the no column and we add the node to the uh, webhook and that's where we send the information over to the script and then we just simply end the automation that simple you can get this this is completely public um, if you don't want to write this automation for yourself this is completely public um, automation you can come over to the blog and you can actually just download it straight from here and copy it straight to your active campaign um, just one click and it's copy so I'm going to show you essentially um, what you need to do to customize this script to make it work for you. So either when you've created the active campaign split or you just want to come and borrow my and copy my public one, I'm just going to copy my public one and show you exactly what you have to do. I'm going to hit copy. And this should be the new one. Fantastic. Let's dive in there. Okay, I'm just going to change it to demo <coughs> demo to remind myself to get rid of it afterwards. Okay, so yeah, it's exactly the same camp uh, setup of as you've just seen. You might want to go come and change the tags. So if you set up different tags for tag A and tag B, then just come and um, change those to whatever your tag setup is. Click OK. Next thing is we need to just modify the webhook URL. So we can come back over to the plugin up at the top here. Come and get the webhook. Stick the webhook URL in, hit save. And of course, when you've done that, you want to come over and activate the, plug, um, the automation on active campaign because otherwise it won't be sending data when anyone subscribes to the list so it's that simple and as soon as that's done you're going to be applying either a split a tag or a split b tag to every single contact that comes in based on their user id so if they're an even they'll get either a, a they'll get a split a tag and if they're an odd number id they get a split b tag for argument's sake um, 
that's how it works. So you're going to get like a perfect 50-50 split of every single person that signs up to your list, basically. And you can extend this. I've extended this to go down even further. This is top level stuff. This is going to get you insanely good, um, just insanely good. You can split test your campaigns. So that is that. That is the Active Campaign Split Test Automation plugin installed on WordPress. So you can now split your contacts perfectly 50 50 when they sign up. Obviously, there's a couple of questions that I haven't touched on on this one. There's a video below. You're probably asking, well, I've got hundreds of contacts and thousands anyway. How do I add tags to them? Because I want to send them through automations um, in the future and split them as well. In the video below, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And there's also one more video below that that shows you how to set up an actual split test in an automation if you want that video as well. So thank you very much for watching. This has been Henry Reith. If you aren't on the blog, come over to the blog because there's like thousands of extra downloads. That means you can set this up in two minutes. And if you like this, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment and generally just be a cool ass marketer. So thank you very much for watching.